Hey, I'm Q, and I started this project out of concern for the misinformation that seems to spread so easily. So, using just my phone and a free video editing app, I'm seeking to answer your questions and address controversial topics using simply what we can prove. This is Q and Facts. Fake news is a term we're hearing a lot, especially from our president, Donald Trump. <laughs> Sorry, I almost threw up. Recently, he said that those who spread fake news are the enemy of the people. Well, when you when you report fake news, no. When you report fake news, which CNN does a lot, you are the enemy of the people. Go ahead. Let's start with the basics here. Fake is used as an adjective, and so its definition would be not genuine or counterfeit. In other words, information that's dishonest or just false. News is the noun. This would be newly reported information or noteworthy information, and usually this is about uh, recent or important events. Oh, look at that. My scenery changed and I'm wearing new clothes. So the problem with Trump's rhetoric is that when he accuses something of being fake news, he never tells us specifically what he's accusing. So let's take a look at that video again and see what exactly prompted him to start talking about uh, fake news and it being the enemy of the people. On, on the Russia investigation, are you concerned that, that you may have I'm not concerned about anything with you the may Russian have investigation because it's a hoax. Are you, That's enough. Put down the mic. Mr. President, are you worried about indictments coming down in this investigation? Mr. President... I'll tell you what, CNN should be ashamed of itself having you working for them. You are a rude, terrible person. You shouldn't be working for CNN. Man, he really touched a sore spot with Trump. So the truth is there is an investigation into Russian meddling in the campaign. So we can't say that that question by itself was dishonest. We also can't say that it's not noteworthy because it's a pretty big deal and at least half of the country is concerned about it. And as far as CNN being a uh, news network that reports fake news, we can go back and look at their previous reports, fact check the information to see if it's true, and also subjectively decide whether or not it was important. And I would personally believe that CNN's record uh, would speak for itself, that they do not, in fact, uh, report fake news. Um, however, there is somebody that tends to report a lot of fake news. Biggest ever to watch an inauguration address. You look at what's happening in Germany. You look at what's happening last night in Sweden. Sweden. Who would believe this? Sweden. We're going to reduce taxes for the people. We pay more tax than anybody in the world. And we're going to reduce taxes. With respect to the president's tweets about alleged wiretapping directed at him by the prior administration, I have no information that supports those tweets. They were people protesting very quietly the taking down of the statue of Robert E. Lee. The following day, it looked like they had some rough, bad people, neo-Nazis, uh, white nationalists, whatever you want to call them. I don't know if you know, they had a permit. The other group didn't have a permit. So that's it, guys. Uh, we answered the question, what is fake news? Fake news is recent or noteworthy information uh, that is false, misleading, or just not honest. Uh, but I think it's important to note that if anyone is spreading fake news, that would be President Trump. And according to him, those that spread fake news are, well, the enemy of the people, which would really put us in a difficult situation.